this is so weird. I don't know what to do without you. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hello everyone. Something's missing and I can't quite put my finger on it. I feel like I've forgotten something. Something sexy. <laughs> Today I am filming my individual coming out story. I don't know if my coming out story is going to help anyone because I never actually really came out still haven't to this day. No one knows. Me and Darren are a secret. <laughs> um, no, of course people know and people know that I'm with Darren and have known for two years now. Um, but I never really had a big reveal. I never sat my parents down and said, Mum, Dad, not only because they're not together anymore, but I never sat them down and said, I'm gay. I want to be with ladies. Ladies. I never had to do that and I was quite lucky. I knew my mum was really accepting and I don't know, I guess I just grew up with same sex relationships all around me, people in my family and yeah, I never really thought of, thought there was only one way to be. I know some people might grow up thinking it's just straight relationships and then they watch TV or are exposed to other forms of media and they start to think about themselves or they might start to think about their best friend in a certain way or something like that. Um, I never really had that, I suppose. I just got close to a girl and didn't really question it. The only way I came up to my mum, um, I feel like I'm just gonna be looking at you with this whole video. Why? It's gonna be really off-putting, because like, I should be looking here and you're there, so I'm basically talking to you. Yeah. Maybe I should move the camera around in front of your <laughs> face. The actual way that I came, up, came out to my mum was me saying, hey mum, I've been asked out by a girl. She said, cool, did, what did you say? And I said, yes. And she said, cool. And that was it. There was never anything more really. Before I was first in a relationship with a girl, I don't really think I ever thought that I might be interested in girls. Um, definitely knew I was interested in guys. I'd been with a guy before. Hi Ewan. <laughs> Haven't we changed? <laughs> I'd been with a guy. So I knew I was interested in guys, or at least I was at the time. But I never really had thought about a girl in that way. Um, or so I thought anyway, but kind of I think after you've been with a girl and you've accepted that you are interested in girls, I think, I don't know if your mind plays tricks on you or what, but I definitely look back on past um, admirations and art female idols and think maybe they weren't my idol, maybe I just fancied them obviously kind of never really thought about it as that unless it was a guy. I don't know why because there was never anyone that told me that being interested in girls was wrong or that I shouldn't do it or that it wasn't natural or anything like that. I just didn't. But yeah, I think there were probably definitely girls that I fancied when I was younger. One girl in particular I can think of that I definitely, I think definitely fancied when I was in middle school probably. But at the time obviously I just thought that I really, really wanted to be really, really good friends with her. <laughs> I haven't really got much of an interesting story. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a letdown for people. I didn't have a big, a big, I'm gay. Like, obviously I know I'm gay now, in case you didn't know, I'm gay. Darren's not. Did you have, did you <laughs> have? One way that I hope this video might help people um, is if you are having feelings for someone of the same sex and you are reluctant to tell the people around you, coming out is not as bad as people think. Sometimes it can be, I'm not disputing that. Some people's stories are much worse than mine. I have been really lucky. Um, but if you know that the people around you aren't going to judge you, like I I did know, because um, obviously I do have people who are in same-sex relationships in my family, um, so we're all really familiar with it. There's no judgments or anything, um, which I'm really, really grateful for. Coming out may seem like the scariest thing in the world. And I did obviously kind of consider what it might be like to come out. I remember one time actually, um, looking back, this was when I started to kind of talk to the girl that I was with before Darren. I remember thinking before we were even together um, that there might be something more than friendship. Um, and that was when I was kind of um, considering that I might be interested in girls because I hadn't really considered it before that. I remember thinking, that it seems like such a big thing to come out 
um, thinking I'm gonna have to tell all my family or my distant relatives what if they talk about me behind my back or um, what if people don't take it well what if people think differently of me nothing none of it everyone's still exactly the same with me as they were before no one thinks any less of me I've never had any negativity um, so coming out can be really difficult for some people and coming out is hard unfortunately and in the society that we live in still it is hard to tell people that you're interested in people of the same sex um, even if you don't get a bad reaction it can still be difficult to even accept yourself sometimes um, but when you do it's so much better <laughs> um, so if there are any people out there that are considering coming out who do want to come out but might be nervous too, just like I was, um, nervous of the judgement or of being treated differently. It's really so much better when you've come out, it's so much better to be part of something, um, to know who you are, to have accepted yourself, and then you can start to move on. So I'm sorry if this wasn't a really long or exciting story, um, but it's my story and it's my coming out story, and I hope that it might help some people who might be wanting to come out or considering that they might be gay or bisexual or demisexual or anything. So I hope you've enjoyed my coming out story. Um, I'm sorry it wasn't very long. There's not much to it really. Um, but yeah, I hope I might have helped some people. And I like watching these videos, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it too. Please give me a thumbs up. This is so weird without Darren here. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And leave us a comment. We love, we love hearing all your comments. And thank you so much for 500 subscribers. 540 now. It's crazy. It just keeps going up. Every morning we wake up and it, like the first thing we do is check our subscribers and see if we have any new comments and we love that you are all telling us where you're from. We love knowing where our videos are being watched, it's crazy. But yeah, it's lovely hearing from all of you and thank you so much for watching our videos and thank you for watching my coming out story. Darren will be back in the next video. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to film without her again. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye!